Hey there, YouTube. Thanks for joining me again today. I hope you're all uh, doing well out there. Today I thought I've gotten a number of new subscribers over the past uh, two or three months, so I thought I would just kind of do a bigger picture video, kind of just um, explain my approach to a plant-based diet. And I say bigger picture because I want to talk about, I get a lot of questions sometimes about one little particular thing, like one, they isolate one element. Well, is this, like in other words, like this food is terrible to eat or this food is a superfood or all this dramatic stuff. And I just don't really, the whole dramatic um, emotional approach has never appealed to me on this lifestyle. When I talk about this diet, and that's why sometimes I'm always, I, sometimes I even feel a little awkward, like I'll be watching, I don't always just listen to my podcast, sometimes I'll watch them on YouTube, and sometimes I'll go to make a comment, or maybe go to see if the creator said something else about it, and just like, like the comment section is just a part of my language, it's a shit show. People just going back and forth, people are angry. I've never gotten angry in a conversation about food. You lose me the second you do that. The second you come at me being emotional, the second you have a bit of drama, I'm like checked out. I just kind of like to be like a, like part, in the, part of the title there, simple, practical, methodical, I like to just kind of plod my way along and learn a little bit more and more and more and evolve. And that's what I've done. Like, um, you know, I eat differently uh, today than I did five years ago. I ate differently five years ago. I ate differently than I did when I first got started. It's all been kind of an evolution and learning things along the way. And I simply follow the nutrition. That's why I've mentioned before uh, Dr. Joel Furman. I like that term that he uses. And once again, I'm not a huge follower of Dr. Furman's. I, I do like his stuff and I hear him on uh, other people's podcasts as well as his from time to time. But when I'm talking about there, mainly it's just like that term, nutritarian because that's kind of what it is for me. I'm just, uh, I'm, may, I'm seeking nutrients throughout the day. I'm trying to fill in holes, okay? What didn't I have? What, what will I have next meal? It's just kind of always all a flow from one meal to the next. Like, I keep it very simple for me. And that will help a lot if you will actually, when you're thinking about your food, if you will think, and when you're thinking about your meals, if you will think about the nutrition, the nutrients you're getting in that food, what you need to be putting into your body, just then always about what do I feel like today? What do I have a taste for? Now, once again, when I say something like that, I always want to make it very, very clear. I'm not trying to say you need to have some very plain Jane or something that isn't appealing taste-wise, but that's not how you should be choosing your food. You shouldn't be choosing each meal based on, ooh, I have a taste for this or I feel like this today. You're not going to get the nutrition you need, and that's why a lot of people don't sustain on this lifestyle. Whatever I eat for breakfast, then I'll go to lunch and I'll think like, okay, what did I not have or what have I not had today? Let's get this thing started. I eat beans every day, so I'm going to plan in when am I going to have beans? Am I going to have beans on my salad today? Like if I have edamame or if I have chickpeas, am I going to have it on my salad? Am I going to have something different? Where am I going to get my greens today? Am I going to eat a salad? Am I going to have a green smoothie? Am I going to have a green smoothie and a salad? And it's also kind of a balancing act of fat throughout the day. Like, um, you know, I don't just willy nilly go, oh, okay, well this one, I need fat for this, or I need this sauce or whatever. If I get to say the last meal of the day and I haven't added any fat for the day, I'm gonna throw some nuts in there because I'm trying to get, you know, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that every day. Um, one of the things too, which that also brings it about that is um, diversity. Um, a lot of diversity, feeding that microbiome, that gut microbiome of a wide variety is more than just finding a few health, healthy foods. And I didn't focus on the variety as much when I was in Costa Rica. Um, I was a little bit too much like I'd have my certain foods that I like to eat and I just wasn't clicking on, um, you know, getting as many different things as possible. Not saying like, oh my God, I've, now I, I felt terrible then, now I feel great now. It's just like I say, I'm trying to get those uh, 30 different types of plant-based foods in um, each week. 
which is like I say, so good for our gut microbiome. What we feed our gut microbiome determines what our body asks us for. Um, it's all microbes. Like these things that you say you're addicted to, like there's microbes for that in your gut. And when you keep feeding them, you keep those microbes alive. Um, it's just a matter of feeding the good ones, you know, feeding the ones that we need that are ne a necessity and not feeding the other stuff because as long as you keep feeding um, and putting things into your body that you're saying, well, I'm trying to wean myself off of or I just have a problem with this, you just got to get rid of them until you don't have that um, desire to consume them anymore. Um, I would say always be consuming information. That's why I like to think a lot more of my channel. I'm more of a curator than I am a creator because I'm just pointing people in directions. These are the podcasts I listen to. These are the books I listen to. I like rational. I look for a certain tone when I'm uh, searching out information too. Going back to the emotional, the the uh, evangelical preacher type that does not appeal to me. The you know the loud, the emotional, the trying to hit all those things. I do like that in for certain type things, but for the food, I don't. I don't. I'm not really into that Tony Robbins approach. I'm not for the gung ho type thing. I'm not for the hippie thing. I'm not for the. I'm looking at science. I'm looking at what I consider is good science out there. So that's why I'm always recommending uh, podcasts such as The Proof with Simon Hill. Phenomenal guest. Plus, I really like his tone. He's very. He speaks very, he kind of speaks very slow and methodical and he doesn't have that emotion or drama or whatever. He's a nice guy. He invites people on his show that uh, don't necessarily agree with uh, what he has to say. He has people on his show that are talking in a very scientific manner. Even, they're not necessarily plant-based, but it's just like I say, the tone of the show. The same with um, Rich Roll. The same with the Exam Room podcast. These are all people, like I say, you know, listening to good sources. Dr. Will Bolsovitz, Dr. Uh, Neil Barnard, um, Dr. Michael, Dr. Michael Greger, who has a great book too. Those are good bases to start from. How not to die. All those names of all those practical people, and I always leave certain people out because certain people resonate. We all we're all a little bit different with that, and certain people resonate or appeal to. Uh, some people more than they appeal to others, but uh, just kind of just keep educating yourself. And you know, sometimes it's kind of like you have to have kind of semi blinders on and not get distracted by everything out there. Um, you know, and I would just say you're got, you've got to eat. You've got to eat on this lifestyle. I'm not anything about, I don't co-sign, I don't roll with those people that are constantly talking the hippie stuff, detox and cleanses and juicing and blah, 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 blah. Because they'll never teach you how to eat. They'll never teach you the things you want to eat. It'll always be yo-yo. I see so much yo-yo. Uh, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do the cleanse, and then we'll just eat this for 30 days, and we'll do this. And then slowly there's a backsliding, and uh, then all of a sudden there's a necessity for that. Again, instead of just eating good nutrition day in and day out. So keep it simple. This is not like something that's all that complicated. I don't put a whole lot of thought into this. Um, uh, I put more thought into what I can do videos about and what I can share than what I do into what I'm actually going to eat. I just keep up a bunch of uh, plant-based stuff. I'm looking out over my table where I keep some of my food that's not refrigerated. I've got mangoes, I got bananas, I've got uh, sweet potatoes, I've got lemons, I got cucumber, I've got a big piece of yucca, I got kiwis, um, I got greens in the refrigerator, I usually have lettuce around here, I've got nuts and seeds over there, I've got at least uh, one, two, three different types of nuts and two or three, four types of seeds. So just keep good stuff around, but it's all about just, kind of, and, and also too, I'll finish with this. You don't have to be perfect immediately. You don't have to be perfect. So many people come off of an, a standard American diet way of eating, and they think all of a sudden eating plants 
they're going to somehow wreck their health like within you know very quickly if they don't get it just right so just learn little by little educate yourself and uh, just have a rational approach to this lifestyle no drama needed anyhow hope you guys enjoyed this one today if you like it please give me a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you here again uh, soon peace